Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today we will start our first uh, chapter. Uh, this chapter one in number system and codes. So this is the outcome for chapter one. So at the end of this uh, lesson, so you should be able to perform the conversion number from one system to another system. Okay, so we have uh, several type of uh, number system. Okay, so we have binary, uh, octal, hexadecimal, and uh, BCD. Okay, binary for the decimal. Okay, we start with our first number system, okay, which is binary number. So binary number used to represent voltage okay, of a digital circuit. So we have two level of voltage, high voltage and low voltage. So for high voltage represented by uh, 1 and then low voltage uh, by binary 0. Okay. And that is also the value okay, for high voltage and low voltage if you are using the circuit. Okay, so we start with the process of conversion. Okay, so for binary number. Okay, first is the process of uh, conversion between decimal and binary number. So how you can convert decimal number to binary number. So the process of conversion of decimal number can be converted to binary by dividing the number by 2. Okay, so we need to divide the decimal number Okay, by base of the number that you need to convert, okay, that you want to convert to. Okay. So, in this case, we want to convert from decimal to binary. So, that's why we need to divide decimal number by 2. So, why we are using 2? Okay, uh, because binary numbers, okay, we have only two values, okay, either 0 or 1. So, uh, this is actually the process of uh, conversion okay, from uh, decimal to binary. So you just divide, yeah, example, 87. Okay, 87 uh, convert to binary number. So you need to uh, divide okay, until your last value here is 0. So that all your reminders must be on uh, one side only. Okay? So, example, 87 divided by 2, so you will get 43. So, actually, if you are using calculator, so you will get 43 point something, something, right? So, but in this case, we just uh, put the the value, okay, without a point number. So, that's why we just take the 43, so that your remainder is uh, equal to 1, because uh, 87 is odd number. So whenever you divide the odd number, your remainder must always equal to 1. Okay? So 87 divided by 2 is 43, so the remainder is 1. Or uh, another uh, implementation, how you can understand the process of this uh, the division or dividing number is actually uh, you need to uh, subtract 87 Okay, by the value of 43 times with 2. Okay, so that's why you will get 1 here. Okay, so here is actually referring to 87 subtract with 43 times by 2. Okay, so you will get 47 okay, minus with 46. So that's why you will get 1 okay, as your reminder. So you need to continue the same step okay, until your last value uh, is actually uh, smaller than the previous value. Or for this case, actually we, we get zero. Okay, we get zero, okay. and then uh, one divide by two uh, because one is uh, smaller than two. So that's why your value he, here is zero. So your reminder is 1. Okay, because 1 minus 2 times 0, you will get 1. Okay. So this is the uh, reminder. So the answer is actually you need to read the value start from bottom uh, until the top value. Okay. So in this case, your answer will be 101011. One, one, one. Okay. So this is your 
answer. You also can use calculator to check your answer. So next is the process of conversion from binary to decimal. So binary number converted to decimal number by sum the weight of various position in binary number which contain 1. Okay, for example, we have this binary number. So how we are going to convert this binary to decimal? So you need to multiply okay, each binary number which is that equal to 1 okay, time with the big weight of your binary number. So this is your big weight. Okay, so this is your big weight. So big weight is a start from least significant bits or uh, start with the rightmost bit. Yeah. So the value is a power of zero. It starts a zero, okay, one, two, three until your last number. Okay. So in this case, okay, you will get uh, this step. Okay, so you need to multiply. So each value here, okay, that equal to one only because. 0, you don't have to multiply yeah, uh, because any number that you multiply with 0, you will get 0, right? So you just question uh, the binary number equal to 1. Okay, you multiply each uh, value and then uh, you get the value and you sum the value so until you get your last results. Okay, 1, 0, 3. Okay, next is octal number. Okay. So octal number is a number that uh, use uh, base it okay, because octal number uh, contain the value that start from 0 until 7. Eh? So you have 8 value 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay? So you have 8 value. So that's why uh, this octal number use uh, base 8. So how you can convert from decimal to octal is actually the same method how you convert from decimal to uh, binary. So actually the conversion between decimal to other type of number we are using the same method okay, which is the process of uh, division or divide number. Okay? Right, so example uh, you have 266 as your decimal so you divide by 8 Okay, so actually the same process with the binary. So 266 divided by 8, you will get 33. So how you get reminder 2 here is actually the same uh, method. It is 266 minus with 33 times with 8. Okay, so this one you, you need to use calculator of course. Yeah? So you will get 2 as your reminder. So you need to uh, continue this process until uh, the last value is actually uh, smaller than the uh, divisor. Okay? So here, in this case, a 4 is smaller than divisor, so you can stop the process of divide. Yeah? Uh, so you need to put all the reminder uh, on one side only, uh, which is here. So this is all the reminder. So your answer uh, is 412, so you need to read your answer start from uh, bottom until top. Okay? So you get this answer. Yeah, 266 yeah, is equal to 412. Okay, conversion uh, from uh, octal to decimal also we are using the same method okay, with the previous binary with decimal. So you just uh, multiply. Okay, you need to multiply each octal value by weight of the digit and sum the results. So in this case, because we are using octal number, so this is your big weight. Okay, for octal. Okay. And then this is your decimal. Sorry, this is your octal number. Okay, so you need to multiply. Okay, you need to multiply okay, the number by the uh, digit. Okay, octal digit weight. Okay, and then you sum your result. So this is your result. 2, 1, 2. So next, conversion between octal and binary. So this is actually the straightforward method. So each octal digit actually can be represented by 3 bits binary. Okay. So this is the octal digit. And then this is the 3-bit binary. Okay. 
So why we are using the three bits binary? So the concept uh, is actually uh, we are using the uh, the process of the binary bit weight. So we know that uh, binary bit weight okay start with two power of zero, okay one, okay and two, okay. So what is the value for each this bit weight? So two power of zero is one. Okay, two power of one is two, and then two power of two is four. Okay, so this is the bit weight, and then this is the value. Okay, for each bit weight, and then. Uh, how we can get this uh, three bit binary number? So actually, you just perform the process of conversion um, with the decimal. It's actually the same way how you convert uh, the decimal uh, number with the uh, octal digit. Okay? So example, you need to convert uh, three okay, octal. Okay? And then what is the three bits binary okay, for decimal three? Sorry, for octal three. Okay. So you need to add. Okay, you need to add the value. Okay, uh, so that you will get three as your uh, answer. Okay, for example, now we have three value right? Four, two, and three. So which value that you need to add or sum? Uh, so that the answer will get 3. So in this case, we can add 2 and 1, right? Because 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So for this value, we put binary 1, okay, 1. And then 4, we put 0 because 4 times with 0 is 0, okay, plus with 2 times 1 is 2, plus with 1 times 1 is 1. So... Uh, this is actually referring to the process of conversion uh, from uh, decimal to binary. Okay. So 2 times 1 plus 1 times 1. So that's why you will get 3. Okay, so this is 1, so you will get 3. So this is how you can get the 3 bits binary number. Okay, uh, it's actually from this uh, process. <clears throat> okay, so by using this table, so you can uh, convert octal and binary uh, straightforward by using the straightforward method. Okay, you just need to remember this octal digit is equal to three bits binary. So what are the three bits? Okay, example, okay, convert four seven two to binary. Okay, so you need to find what are the three bits binary for each octal number? Okay, for example, two. So what are the three bits binary for two? So three bits binary for two is zero one zero. Okay, and then next you find the three bits binary for seven is one one one, and then three bits binary for four is one zero zero. Okay, so your last answer is actually you just need to combine all these three groups. Yeah, so this is your answer. So this is the conversion, yeah, straightforward conversion from octal to binary. And then conversion from binary to octal, yeah, you just group, yeah, you take group of three bits, okay, start from least significant bits and then replace with octal digit. So example, you have this binary number. So how you get this answer, 3 to 6? So actually, you need to group okay, this uh, binary okay, into a group of three bits. Okay, start from least significant bits. Okay, so zero is least significant bits or the rightmost bit. Okay, so one, you need to count one, two, three. So one group, okay, and then another group. Okay, so for each group, okay, you need to replace by one octal number or one octal digit so one one zero is equal to six zero one zero is equal to two and then one one is equal to three so that's why your answer you will get three to six 
you also can use the uh, conversion between uh, decimal. Okay, meaning that the conversion for octal to binary also can use the decimal process. Mean uh, you you can convert first octal, you need to convert to decimal, and then after you get the decimal value, you can convert to binary. Yeah, uh, but here is actually for me is the easiest way, yeah, which is you use the straightforward method. Okay, you just group into three bits of binary or you just find what are the three bits of binary 